Welcome to another YouTube video. I'm going to do the Black Market Militia's album called Black Market Militia. They're a group, a super group, consisted of Killer Priest, Tragedy Gaddafi, William Cooper, um, Timbo King, and Hellraiser from Wu Tang. They're a group that came together to drop this album, which I thought really good a lot of super groups they make more braggadocious type albums when they come together and unite and put an album out we have, we have army of the pharaohs and which is a super group and loads of them over the years but let's get into the album this we have the intro good intro talking a lot of different things going on which is good then we have thug nation talks about the government's agenda and the Illuminati and and the plans that they have and so forth and so talking about what goes on in the hood as well which is a really good track then we have Mayday which is more about casualties of war and then being soldiers and sort of thing yeah that a lot of MCs talk about it's about wars and things like that. That's why it's called May Day and Casualties. Which I think is a good track. Very political motivated. Then we have Autobahn Ballroom Feet Dead Prayers. Again, love the politicalness of the track. About the Illuminati, the government. How it empowers the people. Lays them. And talks about a lot of things that go on. A lot of Afrocentric parts to it they talk about the leaders they've had and like um Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, all them leaders, Marcus Garvey and so forth and that's that track. Then we have the struggle which is about day to day life in the hood. It talks about it all being manipulated into gangs and that sort of culture that goes on with the drugs and all that sort of thing talks about and how it can go pear shaped then we have Hood Alibi I think again another great song great retrospective song again then we have Gem Stars which is very political and very boom bap ish they've got a video for the song it talks about a lot of different things from different perspectives quite aggressive type track which I really like about the song then we have Righteous Talk again about living righteous and so forth it has a spoken word poet Let's do a little bit of talking within that which I thought was pretty cool to hear then we have the final call which is again now the last poets spoken word artist really good group back in the days and it definitely goes with the song that they're trying to prevail. Forgot what the whole song went. And we have Dead Street Scrolls again, that's a really good song. I like that song. Very political. It talks about a lot of ancient cultures, ancient knowledge and so forth. And I think the final call also was about that. Where they talked about a lot of ancient cultures and I think one of the songs had like a prayer in Islamic or Jude culture sort of prayers on one or two songs which I thought was really good then we had Black Market with um, Menacing Beat Killer Priest first really good when he compares himself to a lot of artists like Picasso and Da Vinci and a lot of things as hip hop artists, poets and so forth I thought was pretty good and then we have songs like Think Market and Breath of Life I think this album really does go in deep and I think this is where why this album so good you get a super group they stick to their strengths they do the Brian Ocean's thing as well I mean hard but they also do what they're good at they talk about a lot of knowledge very political talk about a lot of ancient cultures ancient Egypt and a lot of things like that in Kemet they talk about ancient Islam teachings and um, 
talking about the leaders they've had, like Marcus Garvey, and talk about a load of things. And I think that's what's so good about this group. Give this album 10 out of 10 rating. Love this album. Peace.